Memorial Day in New Britain. Families lined along Main Street in their red, white, and blue to hear bands, enjoy different performances, and honor those who gave everything for the United States. It's supposed to represent the ones who have died, not the ones who are alive. The day has a different meaning for every spectator and every entertainer. I think of my my grandpa. I think of um, people who have passed, who, who have fought for our country and died for our country. A day of remembrance for fallen soldiers, veterans like the Coast Guard's Don Naples honor and think about their former colleagues who are no longer here on this day. The time for reflection is certainly not uh, a happy Memorial Day when people say that it bothers me. He says being a part of the parade is a way to give a little back. Don Adams with the False Alarmers has been giving back in the parade for almost 20 years. Well, I'm a veteran and so I've had a lot of friends that either didn't make it or uh, had troubles once they got out of it. So, you know, we kind of try to remember them at this time of year. It's a day to teach young kids about why they have their freedom. And I told her, you know, this is a day that people fought for our country and died for our country to provide us freedom. The Girl Scouts of Connecticut have marched almost a decade in this parade. Madeline Cameron says it teaches these scouts about respecting the military. I think it's just knowing that somebody, you know, laid down their life for, for me. A tradition bringing many families to New Britain to spend time together as a community and honor their community members who died for their freedom. In New Britain, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.